Today's Gospel, Monday, September 4, is taken from St. Luke chapter 4, verses 16 to 30. Jesus came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, No prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the sky was closed for three and a half years and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is by Brother Paulo Fresnosa of the Hand of the Sower Catholic Community. Read with authority. Magnilay tayo. Ang talatang binasa ni Jesus ay paniguradong pangkaraniwan ng binabasa ng mga pareseyo at mga eskriba sa sinagoga tuwing Sabbath. Nothing new, just another day at the synagogue. Pero bakit noong si Jesus na ang nagbasa, may something. Gulat nila nung binasa ni Jesus ang aklat ni Propeta Isias para bang siya ang tinutukoy sa kasulatan. Para bang inaangkin niyang siya ang sinugo ng Panginoon. The answer is, Jesus reads with authority. Let us be like Jesus. Tuwing binabasa natin ang Bible, kapag nagka-privilege makapag-preach, paalala, buhay ang salita ng Diyos. Lalo na kung puspos ng Espiritu Santo ang nagbabasa. Ito rin ang dahilan ng pagkukrus natin ng noo, bibig at puso sa tuwing makikinig ng Ebanghelyo. Upang mapuspos tayo ng Espiritu Santo sa isip, sa salita at sa puso o gawa. When we give retreats and recollections, whenever assigned as a liturgist in the Mass, as sowers, we always train and prepare the readers well, kahit pa 15 minutes before or mas maikling sandali. Binibigyang diin ang kahalagahan ng pagtayo ng maayos, pagbasa ng malumanay at malinaw, may diin at dignidad. Dapat mula sa puso ang pagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos. Kapag tayo man ay ma-assign maging reader, remember this gospel and be amazed how the Holy Spirit can empower us that we may give glory to God whenever we read God's Word. Let us pray. Lord, grant us the grace to proclaim your Word with authority. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.